Good day, thank you for joining me. We're going to change out or inspect brake pads. And the first thing we need to do is find the jack location point to put a jack underneath for safely keeping the car up and taking the wheel lugs off, the tire off. I'm going to show you how simple it is to do that. You need a cross wrench and you just can't unloosen these things. See how tight they are? If you don't have the strength, you've got this foot here that gives you the strength on here. So let's show you how strong it is to get it off. Don't just put your hand underneath because you'll hit the bottom and you'll scrape your knuckles. This one this way, this this way. Use your weight and the whole body. The lug nut will come off. Same thing for the next one and the next one. Now, once you get them all loose, now is the time to put the jack stand in the proper location. Let's show you where that's going to be. One of the many things people do not do is chalk a tire. Located right here is going to be your jack points to put your scissor jacks. Located further back is going to be where you put the jack, the floor jack. Notice this position right here. That's where you're going to lift the car. Slowly pump so it meets the proper location and then proceed to lift. With the amount of room for the jack stand, where the scissor point jacks will go, that's where this is going to go. So as you pump, you want to make sure you have enough height so this can slide under and that you can make it fit comfortably there. Now that you have enough room, place your stand. You can lift up or you can keep low, your choice. Lower the car real slow. Make sure it hits where it's supposed to go and you're set. I choose to leave the floor jack where it's at, the jack stand where it's at. So now we're ready to take the tire off. We spin the lugs. If the tire doesn't come off, kick it. I always place something on the tire and use it as my seat. That is me. I inspect the whole area. I don't have to take the brakes off, but I can look at it from the outside. I am going to remove the brakes for inspection to see how much light is left here. So I want to have a can of brake clean cleaner just in case I touch the rotor. With the 14 millimeter and a regular ratchet, lefty, loosey, righty, tidy. We are going to take off or loosen the bolt. Try not to bang the ratchet, you'll just hurt your hand. But that's the way I do things, just to get the bolt loose. I do the same thing for the bottom. But the bottom one I am actually going to take off and loosen up. This is the first time these brakes have been taken off. And you can see how very simple it is to get out. As I loosen up the 14 millimeter bolt and take it off, I put it to the side. I'm going to lift the caliper head up 
and out of the way and not take it off. But it's going to fall down. I could tighten up the caliper bolt so it doesn't fall down or I could tie something up there. So I have my option. Anybody can do this. Your shimmy's gonna come off, place it to the side the way it comes off. There are two shimmies. Pulling the pin out and away. You can see I still have some life to the pads. The question is, how much life do I have to the pads? But take note, that is the life of the pads right there. I got about five to 10,000 more miles to go. And I am going to be changing these out in the fall time. So let's put everything back together. We have inspected our pads and they look uh, pretty uh, simple and easy to do. As I've shown you the very simple way of doing things. Slide of pins. What you do is you basically hold the boot, pull the slide of pin away. And you'll take malachite. That'd be this stuff right here. And you'll squeeze it out and apply it. Once it applies, you press the boot. Well, what if I pull the pin all the way out by mistake? Not a thing will happen. Because you'll clean the whole thing, slide it back in the boot, and you'll work the boot back over. Once the boot's back on, if you're doing a full brake job, the old pads go here. A C-clamp squeezes the cylinder nice and close. There is a bleeder down below that you would loosen up so you can knock out the air. But you need to have two people or the proper machines to bleed your brakes. Now, make sure it's nice and tight, every other one. Don't super tighten the lock nut, just make it tight enough. And that's the last one. Job is done. Have a great, great day.